I know you guys just sat down, but could you just give one more round of applause to the Savers? Makes me so happy to, to see our award winners have a chance to share their successes with you and to do it with such dignity here. You know, when I talk to the, the savers who've made investments in assets, one of the things that we hear over and over is that Earn gave them something that felt like hope in concrete form. And this is really, this is critical because Earn's goal is to create a cycle of prosperity for the working poor. And the people we seek to empower, they need to be able to see a different future in a very real way. And that's why they need hope in concrete form. This is really hard at a time when the American dream just feels hollow for a lot of people who are struggling to get by. The future is not necessarily a rosy place if you are living and working and still poor. You know, the author George Orwell actually lived a lot of his life in poverty and he crystallized how devastating it is to lack the vision for a better life when you're poor. Orwell wrote that poverty annihilates the future. He knew this from his experiences. And the sad reality is we accept this on a daily basis. We see working poor people around us all the time. And really we accept that this is just kind of the way it's going to be. They're not going to get a better shot at prosperity. Their children may not get a better shot because that's just the way it goes. But I have to tell you, Personally and professionally, I completely reject this as a given. I reject it because of the things that I've experienced in my own life. When I was a kid, if you looked at statistics, if you looked with your own two eyes, you would look at me and you would not see better days ahead. Anyone who had a glimpse into my life would see a kid living in poverty, at times in public housing, using food stamps. You would not imagine me standing here today. You wouldn't. These are not fun memories to recollect, but I'm sharing them because I want you to understand how important this issue of visualizing a different future is if you're really gonna break the cycle of poverty and create prosperity. I mean, when I was a kid, my future had a 30-day time horizon. I wasn't afraid of the boogeyman. I was actually, I was afraid of being homeless. That was my greatest fear. And so this month-to-month -month cycle for kids who live in poverty it, it's devastating. You know, you can't envision anything else. And this to me is, I think, the most heartbreaking thing when you consider what Orwell said about poverty annihilating the future. When kids can't see beyond the monthly struggles of their households to imagine anything else. But things are different now. I work at Earn because of what I experienced. I work at Earn because Earn embodies the kind of hope that allows people to see that different future. The stories that we heard today illuminate a different view of the future. The earned savers that you just heard from clearly have blazed a different path for themselves and their kids. Their kids are gonna see the world differently beyond a month to month time horizon and that's gonna create prosperity and opportunity for their families across generations. Now, it's hard to see a new future when every signpost around you is pointing to hopelessness. But the change is possible and earn savers prove it every day. And this is what we're celebrating today. You've heard from three people, but I want you to know that earn serves 1,500 families in the Bay Area, mostly in San Francisco. I mentioned before that the average household income for an earn saver is under $20,000 a year. But you know what? Since 2002, these 1,500 people have actually saved over $1.4 million of their own money. <laughs> and they're beginning to invest, which is the important part. Over 300 people have invested this money in going to college, in buying homes, in starting small businesses, these people are getting ahead. They're not just getting by anymore. This is why everyone who works at Earn comes to the office every day. Because we have a different vision of the future. We believe in a community, a state, and a nation where prosperity actually lives in the future. We see hope come alive every day when our savers use our matched savings accounts, when they go through our money management training, 
We have a vision of communities that move away from economic despair and towards economic health. And we see a future where the policy changes that earn drives will make prosperity for working people the norm, not just in the Bay Area, but in California and across the nation. And so I'm gonna end with a couple of questions for you. After hearing from Duane, from Anaya, from Zanelia, who do you see now? How do you envision prosperity in your community? And most importantly, what are you willing to do to make that prosperity, or sorry, rather, to make that vision a reality? And if you share Earn's vision for a prosperous future for all working people, that we have something extraordinary for you, and I want to ask Earn board member Nick Eaton to come to the stage to make an announcement.